Hello everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here, and I'm happy today to bring you a, another painting guide. It's been a while, but um, yeah, uh, so this is another Game of Thrones painting guide. This is Euron Greyjoy uh, from Dark Souls Miniatures. Um, so they're a great company, they, and they um, make a bunch of figures. They're all very nice, very good quality. Um, so yeah, if you if you're into this, you should uh, definitely check them out. Um, and so this is the Euron Greyjoy from the books. Um, I'm just going to give you a brief rundown with how I painted him. I took stills of every single stage, pretty much. So you'll see that, and then we'll come back to talk about the finished product and what I think of it undercoated in grey actually to kind of emphasize those uh, sort of medium accents um, here's the first coat um, this is as you can see I've got silver uh, for the male I've got black for that sort of that I want to say cummerbund but that waist belt uh, with the kraken um, the cloak and the um, sort of waistcoat I don't know what it is, uh, but that's all in blue, and then the undershirt is in white, the trousers are brown, play off the maybe that brown pants, um, quite a pale flesh tone actually, kind of to make him look more ghostly. Um, then I gave him a dark wash, this just kind of served to, um, you know, really just darken him, start getting that depth. Uh, after that, I gave him a dry brush highlight in, so I think, bluish grey, uh, some light brown highlights on the trousers, a sort of a, a de a deeper flesh colour for the face. Um, I don't know if I did anything to the male, some highlights on the boots as well, make them look quite worn. Um, what else? Yeah, the white shirt as well. Um, gets more depth, added some silver, so the kraken, the sort of then the sort of the edging of the, the trim of the waistcoat, whatever it is, I don't know, someone tell me in the comments, um, give that real shine, uh, obviously the eye patch and the hair, uh, some more dry brushes, actually some dry brushes on the hair, some light blues about now, um, as you can see I've done the trim in that light blue, give it some nice contrast, um, some light dry brushing on the cloak as well, um, some more light blue dry brushing on the waistcoat, um, there's, this, there's the uh, Kraken, that's in silver, made quite bright, uh, did the trim of the undershirt in white, kind of emphasized the edge, I think that looks quite good. Um, did some dry brushing of the beard, make it look quite, make him look quite old. Uh, in retrospect, I could have made the lips blue. Um, that was perhaps something I should have done. Um, the trousers as well, dry brush highlighting. Um, the uh, as you can see, just all the details in silver. Um, then the back of the cloak in sort of, as you can see, sort of along the raised areas, doing that in sort of medium blue and then raising that to light blue. Um, then back round to the front, just emphasizing the depth of color, particularly with the undershirt, making that darker. Uh, and then just even kind of brighter blue coming up to white on the back of the cloak. Okay, so you know, with the finished model, I'm actually very pleased with it. I really like the colour scheme. Um, the horn itself is very nice. I'll try and... You can't really get a good um, focus in on that, sadly. Um, I'll try and show you in some actual good stills. Um, but, um, yeah, the horn's very nice. Um, I like the colour, the sort of the blue motif gives him a very wintry feel. Um, his cloak, that sort of 
ice blue. Um, he's just got a really nice combination of colours on there and he really looks very crisp and fine. You probably can't see it on here because this camera's not willing to focus at such close range. Um, but I'll see what I can do with you know the sort of the focused shots. Um, you've got the cloak, it's lovely. I really like the model, I think he looks great. I'm really pleased with the finished product um, of the colour scheme and he looks very different and he looks still very vibrant. Um, the example they give on Dark Storm is in greys and I thought well I want him to feel a bit more wintry. Um, make him more ghostly and uh, he still kind of has that that maritime feel with the blues uh, but there's also a level of winter to him you know considering how close he pops up before winter hits so yeah I'm really quite pleased with him um, but let, uh, let me hear your guys' comments what do you guys think of him and how he's turned out uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.